today we are going to solve the problem final array state after k multiplication operations so in this problem right first we will try to understand the question then we will dry run couple of examples then we will see how to build the logic and the coding part then we will change the constraints and we will try to optimize it further how we can optimize it so for complete understanding please watch the video till the end and i am hoping that you have tried this problem if you haven't tried go and give it a try then you can come and watch the video solution now here you are given an integer array numbers and an integer k and an integer multiplier right he is given some numbers some k and is a multiplier right you need to perform k operations on numbers in each operation find the minimum value x in numbers so in first operation what i will do is i will try to calculate the first minimum what is the minimum here it's one right it's one i will calculate the one and if there are multiple occurrences of the minimum value select the one which appears first right uh, if here i have one and consider it this index you have one so you need to consider the value which appears first this one has appeared first so we are considering this now we need to replace the selected minimum x with the x into multiplier then we need to multiply this one into two and we need to replace it this is how our array looks after the first operation now in the second operation here we have both twos right then the first occurrence is this so we have multiplied this four now we got this after third operation you have uh, this two right so this how it becomes here three so it becomes six and after becoming six here you have four and it become eight so this is your final operation so we need to return it right we need to return it now after seeing this right uh, if you are new to the programming and if you know any of the programming languages good uh, pretty well then you can simply code it like we will see the coding part how you can do that it's simple right for what i will do is first i will try to calculate the size then i will say while k minus minus then first my index will be at 0 and answer equals to v of 0 i am considering this as a minimum then i will start iterating from i is equals to 1 then when my v of i is less than my answer then answer equals to v of i and index equals to i if my v of i is less than or equals to answer if you are keeping this right if you are less than or equals to then my index will increase but he is saying that if there are multiple occurrences of minimum value we need to select the one which appears first so we need not to check less than or equals to right then finally v of index equals to v of index into m we are replacing it and finally we are returning v so if you do this it will definitely get accepted because if you see the constraints the constraints are very low now we are we, we are changing the constraints now we are making it nums dot length can be up to 10 power 5 and my k can also be 10 power 5 so how you can solve this think like think by yourself so uh, till this most of the people can solve but extension like it can be categorized into a medium level problem so go and give it a try like how you will think about this so i am hoping that you have tried this for at least 15 20 minutes then you are watching this so first thing right if you want the minimums and if you want the maximums quickly like if you want the minimum and maximum very fast what I, what you will do uh, one simple approach is I will iterate and I will try to calculate the minimum and maximum. It will take order of n times. But to get the minimum and maximum quickly, you can use priority queue. Anywhere, anywhere, if you are seeing, if you, if you know, if you want the maximum and minimum at every iteration, at every point you want the maximum and you want the minimum, then think about the priority queue. So here, you want the minimum value. So what I will do is, I will think about priority queue. In priority queue, okay so how you will construct a priority queue now uh, you got to know that we will be using priority queue to get the minimum value we, we are we are going to use the min hip min hip so here you can't only store the values right you need to store the index as well so you need to store value comma index because if you are storing only value you don't know right it at which index you need to replace so you need to store the value and index value and index so now let's see the priority queue solution so it's simple so this is my priority queue if you don't know like uh, how exactly priority queue works internally you can watch the in youtube you can click how how he 
how he works internally so you will get the different youtube videos you can go there but here we are we are using standard html c++ html and if you are using java there there also you can find the priority queue now you 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 got the priority queue and you are pushing b of i comma i in priority queue right this is my value first it will sort according to the value then it will sort according to the index so we need not to worry like we will definitely get the if there are multiple occurrences we you are storing the minimum value right we are storing the minimum value so obviously this will be my minimum only this will be my minimum only. so we need not to take care of that then while k minus minus q dot top this is my value and this is my index and then i am pushing into value into multiplier comma index i am pushing it and finally this is my answer and while priority key is not empty i am popping it out and we are checking it and we are storing in our answer right we are storing in our answer. so if you see here what will be my time complexity so how many times you are iterating here k times right k times and to get the value maximum and minimum it will take log of n times so if the size of the priority queue is n so every time log n times it will perform to get the minimum or the maximum element so k into log n will be my time complexity so now interviewer may ask you can you optimize this so you are having this extra loops right can you optimize it in single iteration can you do this now if you see here this or oh, these three steps right these three steps are common and you are pushing it value into m value into m so can i do answer of index equals to value into m directly directly after popping it i will make it uh, it's simple so first i will pop it and v of index equals to value into m i am updating the v only v of index i am updating and then i am pushing into the priority q dot push so that v of index which is value into m and comma index and finally we are returning v so in this way you can optimize it more further if you optimize this uh, there will be no deduction in time it will be same like k into log n but here k into log n plus k into log n is 2 into k into log n but still we will consider order right so it will be k into log n same here it will be k into log n but here we have used extra variable called answer and here we are reusing it v we are updating v so now you need to ask the interviewer whether i can update my value if he is saying that you can't update you should not update you need to take the another variable and you need to perform this so i think you have learned something new from this video so if you learned something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and i have created a whatsapp community code with confidence you can join there for further updates i will see in the next video till then bye bye and you can connect with me on linkedin i will give that in the description as well bye bye